Okay, today we're taking a look at Windows 10. I wanted to show you some cool things about the interface, especially for people who haven't really experienced Windows 10 before. Microsoft is unveiling some consumer features that people will be able to try out pretty soon. Uh, the most dramatic change for most users will be the start screen. This is the full screen version of it. Uh, and you can see a smaller version right here. You can see all of your uh, favorite apps, as well as your live tiles that you can scroll through. And you have your choice of, of your view. What we're looking at right now is the desktop version of Windows 10. And the idea is that Microsoft wants to treat all applications uh, as equals, that they're on the same level playing field. And what that means is that you can move them around and stack them any way that you want. Um, regardless of whether it's a modern app or a desktop app, because at the end of the day, the user doesn't care. Um, and what's neat about this is that you can switch between tablet mode and uh, desktop mode with just a tap. And so you can decide uh, how you want to interact. And if you want to snap applications, you can do that by moving it off to the side. And there's a new multitasking view. So uh, as you see, when I swiped over to the right, all these apps on the left became available as options. And so if I want to click on one of these, that this is called Snap Assist. Uh, I can just pull things together that way. So I really appreciate the ease with which you can multitask uh, in Windows 10, and I like the way that Microsoft is bringing sort of the desktop and tablet worlds together. Uh, and again, if I want to switch out and go back to, uh, to desktop mode, I can do that with a tap down here in the new Action Center, which delivers uh, notifications, as well as your, a quick look at a bunch of settings, including a connect, uh, display, etc. And there's a new universal settings menu too, so you no longer have this duality between the control panel and the modern settings menu, so it's much easier uh, for you to get around. So this is definitely a good first step uh, for Windows 10 on its way uh, to the marketplace. This is Mark Spoonauer uh, with Laptop Mag, and this is our first look at Windows 10 on the desktop and on tablets for the Surface.